Hello, good day. Uh, welcome to my channel. After a long while of putting video on this channel, because of studies, I have to make this quick video for those that are interested in data processing. Uh, today we're going to look briefly at data processing. How we can use how we can process our data easily with Excel. We'll be looking at pivot table. Or what called pivot table. Now, a pivot table is simply a table that helps for statistical analysis. It summarizes the data of a more extensive table. It summarizes the data for easy data processing and data analysis. Data analytics, they use this a lot. And at the end of this, you see uh, in the next video, I'll show you how you can use a pivot table to create a dashboard. So a pivot table also gives us summary such as the sum, the averages, average, the mean, the media, and every other stuff of a extensive data. Of, or simply called of a data set. So as you can see on the screen, I have an Excel sheet with a lot of data. The mistake people do is because an Excel sheet is already arranged in rows and columns, they forget to insert a table. But when we insert a table, it makes it easier for us when we do data analysis or data processing. To insert a table, I can go to my insert tab or I use the short key, the short code, control T to insert a table. So I'll just use control T to insert a table. And if you look at my table, my table have, has an header, has headers. You can see we have rows, row number, we have customer, surname, a customer ID, and the other. So I click yes, my table has date headers. So this, I have my table, good. I have my table. So all I have to do is, and under the design, so I hit my ribbon. Let me show my ribbon. Show tab and command, good. So under this, I can just name my table. It's good to name your table. It's good to always give your table a name. So I can call it TBL or table cost, cost details, which stands for customer details or customer info, cost info. So this tells me about the customer info, is the information about the customer. That is the table. So I have this and to summarize it, in a pivot table, I simply come to summarize with pivot table. I click on it. I want it to go to a new Excel sheet, new worksheet. So I click on new worksheet and it will go this way. This is the table I'm using, so I don't have to specify any other thing. I just have to click OK. Now I have this on a new Excel sheet. So if I want to get the geographical location of the customers, I click on that, then I have it as the road. Then if I want the genders, I click on the genders. So it shows me the gender of those in France. And so let me put this to give me the values of genders. Good. So the value of gender in France, in each in Germany and in Spain. I have it that way. Okay, I can have some other thing like the age or the age. I forget some of the ages here. The sum of those aged of all the people in France that ages, some of their ages I have it here. The sum of the ages of all the customers in Germany, I have it here. The sum of the ages of all the customers in Spain, I have it here. So 
if I want it not to be a sum, not to be a value, I put in the side of row and you see the distribution. Those that are age 24 in France, just one, 25, and two persons are age 25. Why we have the distribution done all this way? Good. Okay. Okay. So this is just briefly how we can use a pivot table to summarize the data. Uh, what I'll show you next is using a pivot table to create a dashboard. But before the next video, I just want to give you a glimpse of what you are expecting in the next video. So this is a dashboard and this is what you will see in the next video. We'll be creating this dashboard that automatically updates itself. It automatically updates itself based on the selection. If I should select this, it will change. It will automatically change. If I select more than the age range, it changes automatically. So in the next video, we're looking at how we can create an interactive dashboard. Please, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you very much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, Please do well by subscribing and also like this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a nice day.